All right, everyone. Welcome to part five with of the uh, predators, and here we got skydive. Now, skydive um, is uh, one of the uh, trickier ones. It's like to pull off, but uh, yeah. So again, and this one is based off a combiner. I mean, um, Power of the Primes uh, mold. This one being Dark Wings. Uh, again, he has the uh, hand foot gun. Made to look uh, painted gold to match the Predators with the little green tips. Quite fun. And here on the side we have a double barreled gun as part of the uh, Matrix 45. Uh, M45 Matrix Workshop, that's what it's called. You can find that one on eBay. Yeah. So, um, again, based on the Dark Wings mold up. Uh, I don't know what these green parts are on the side. Uh, cool Jazz did those. He added them, and again, it helps with the whole um, unifying green aesthetic of the uh, Predators. I put a little insignia there. It was kind of hard because it's very busy back here with the, all the sections of this. And we kept the wings slightly curved. But yeah. There's the other one there. So uh, let's uh, get him transformed. He's one of the trickier ones. Usually we um, leave the wings a little bit flared out so that these can be uh, flush somewhat. But yeah. So we get those there, lift the wings. So wiggle out the arms a bit. Alright, then we pop open there and pull out the legs. Legs super tight on this guy. Right. Then uh, pop open this section. It's tricky. Pull it out. Rotate the wings there on these ball joints. Right. And in this case here, just slightly rotate that up. And, uh, yeah, get the wings adjusted. And rotate the head up. There we go. And then just give him his weapons. There, and there you have skydive. Now skydive is kind of the odd man out of this group simply because he doesn't use um heads by aerial customs uh, apparently fake buster as a joke with the Dave decided to just keep the skydive head from the uh, regular combiner wars because he thought that was funny which it is it also kind of makes um, canonical sense because um, in the comics they said that the predator skydive was often it's like mistaken for the aerial bot skydive now this head here though is uh, based off a um, steam shield design and it's uh, more based on the toy version so it's kind of neat. It kind of sticks up a bit high on the deck as you can see here and it has a, a tendency to fall off uh, quite easily so that's uh, kind of annoying but it, it works. When they re-released this one in Japan uh, they called them dark jet so for uh, we could just call them DJ Skydive or Predator Skydive, whichever one you prefer. And uh, we went with the um, insignia there on the fuselage, much like the others, so that uh, it doesn't interfere with the green on the chest, and mostly because overall very lots of small parts there. Could have probably gone with the wings, but uh, didn't want to break that up. This whole patterning going. So yeah. That's a skydive for you. And uh, let's bring in some of the other guys. Yeah, let's put the whole team. So put Skyquake in the back there. Stalker there. Talon here. And Snare. 
There we go. There we have all the predators all together. Yeah. And again, they look very neat all together. Like a, the nice uh, green that unifies them. They all have green optics. It uh, helps them see in that territory that they work in. The Skomalach, I believe. Probably saying that wrong, but hey, <laughs> it goes. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, this was like a cool group and... Uh, it's kind of a shame they didn't decide to make some kind of BotCon exclusive set or something with these. Uh, or maybe like a Generation Selects, but who knows? I mean, it, they look great individually and uh, all sort of works quite well. Yeah. Very, very neat. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, look at the uh, individual predators, and uh, let's tune in for the uh, combined mode uh, coming very soon, very soon. <laughs> All right, catch you later.